A very good morning to you, Michael. From where we are, this is the Nyeri Health Center, one of the polling stations in Nyeri County of the six constituencies that are there in Nyeri County. And as rightly as you've asked, are there as many people as anticipated? But I can tell you, Michael, because last time on August 8th, we were here at this particular polling station, and the queues had stretched all the way to a hotel called White Rhino, which is quite a distance from here. But uh, when we arrived here just a few minutes ago, the queues were not as long, but um, perhaps you can see that there are quite a number of people still, just not as many as maybe we thought there'd be, unless because of the bad weather, it's uh, rainy this morning in Nyeri, it's a bit frosty, so perhaps they will be coming a little bit later. And now, we had spoken to the returning officer in charge of the uh, Nyeri town constituency yesterday, Jennifer Mogambi, who had told us that um, they had already dispersed materials to the pre uh, presiding officers and their deputies, so they expected everything to go, uh, or to be in order. And uh, this time around, there's no county talent center as there was last time, and this is because only uh, the, re the voters will only be chosen the president. So there's, that is the reason why there is no county talent center. Instead, we have the constituency talent centers, and these are six in Nyeri County. Here we are, as we've said, this is the Nyeri Health Center polling station, one of the many in Nyeri town itself, even before we go to the other areas, the other constituencies, uh, Madeira, uh, Tetu, Mokorueni, Othaya, Kenya, and the like. But to bring us up to speed, tell us about this process, uh, what time they opened, were there people waiting for the gates to be opened as, they, as it was last time, are there any hitches with the KMS gates or everything is going on smoothly? Let us talk to the presiding officer in charge of this particular voting station, polling station, that is uh, B. Margaret, to just tell us more about this. Thank you very much, Margaret, for joining us live on KT News. Nyeri County, this is a Jubilee stronghold, and uh, perhaps uh, that explains the queues as opposed to the other areas where, um, you know, the NASA strongholds, where most of them are not expected to come out and vote. So what is the situation like here? What time did you open? Uh, we opened the station at 6, although the voters were here as early as 4. So they were waiting. We opened at exactly six. Yes. Okay. And uh, the, the queue is flowing. The Kim's kids, everything is okay. No challenges? I, r I remember last time, because I also voted from this particular station, uh, the Kim's kids, um, some were taking too long, very many minutes to try and recognize fingerprints. Is everything okay now, today? Yeah. Everything is fine, apart from maybe one or two who have taken a bit of time, but the other things are okay. okay. There was a bit of... Maybe rain in the morning, but that's fine now by now. The weather is better. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, there are con is there any kind of confusion? People do not know where their streams are. We also noticed that last time. Uh, are people coming and queuing in the wrong queues maybe? <laughs> or you're sorting them out? You're helping them out with that? Now, in this particular center, we have five streams. So there's a bit of confusion. You know, somebody going to five is supposed to be in four comes to four, it's supposed to be in six, but we're sorting that one out. All right, okay, Margaret, we'll be talking to you later. Let us just hear from some voters who are here and seemingly came here very early. Hujambo? Hujambo sana. Unaitwa nani? Nanu umejitokeza kupiga kura? Yeah, naitwa Nahasha Njogo, kutoka Nyeri County. Nimefika hapa 6.30, kuja kuvote for president. Okay. Yeah. Sawa, sawa. Tusikia kwa mwana dada. What is your name? Maureen Kagoro. I have come to exercise my democratic right. And hopefully all will be well after this. All right, okay. Michael, we'll be talking to more of the voters and just bringing you an update of what is happening in this part of Kenya. 